That is the charge, Byron and Lanise. Uh, Sergeant Jason Vinoy with Daphne Police says that Collier filed the report yesterday. Well, after they checked into it, they say that is not the case. Well, Collier turned himself in this afternoon around 1.30, again, charged with making a false report to law enforcement. He was booked into the city jail and released. Of course, this is a misdemeanor. Investigators really wouldn't go into the detail of the circumstances other than to say it's domestic related. Now, we did reach out to Spencer Collier. He gave us this statement saying, my adult son who is a recovering addict and multiple felon used my bank card without my knowledge. I filed a police report being this is the second time in a year that he has done this. I was unaware that my wife, we are currently estranged, gave him permission he pressed charges because I listed him as a suspect. Now he went on to say this is no doubt. Uh, he has no doubt he'll be exonerated, but this entire episode is embarrassing. Now all of this comes a day after Collier's wife Melissa filed a petition with Baldwin County Circuit Court seeking a protection order from alleged abuse. In that petition, she claimed her husband threatened her with physical violence and also claims he's in an unstable state of mind dealing with depression and anxiety and is under extreme pressure. She's also seeking custody of the couple's two children until the defendant seeks treatment. Now, you'll remember that Collier was once an ally to former Governor Robert Bentley and appointed the state's top cop. Well, after Collier was the uh, first to publicly come forward after he was fired in 2016, accusing Bentley of having an affair with top advisor Rebecca Mason, he went on to file a lawsuit claiming he was fired as a smear campaign, which was recently settled for more than half a million dollars. Now, we did reach out to the former governor, Robert Bentley, for a statement. He tells us he has no comment on this matter. Again, Former top uh, Aaliyah director Spencer Collier arrested here in Daphne for filing a po false police report. Again, it's a misdemeanor. It usually does not carry jail time, but he'll face that charge later this month on June 30th here in Daphne City Court. Reporting live in Daphne tonight, Lee Peck, Fox 2 News.